Hi. As geologists, we need to be able to plot data in a, lots of different ways just because of the sheer variety of data we need to be able to deal with to understand how the Earth works. One of these key data presentation techniques is what we call rose diagrams. A rose diagram is a very effective way of showing a group of data where one of those measurements is direction. Another way of thinking about this type of graph is as a circular bar chart, with one of the axes being the points of the compass. Let me show you how it works. A rose diagram is plotted on a piece of circular graph paper, or polar graph paper is another name for it. You can see on the example that you have, and the one I'm showing you here, already has the bearings of a compass shown on it, going from zero at the top, through 90 degrees, to 180 degrees, to 70 degrees, back to zero. So these are going to reflect the directions of the compass. So we have north, east, south, and west, shown on our diagram. The radial lines on the diagram represent these different bearings respect, with angles respect to north. Okay. The second piece of data we can plot on this is looking at the number of values. And for this, we use the concentric circles, starting from the middle, going out to the edge here, to mark our values that we have. As with any graph, we look at the range of values. For example, the uh, examples I've given you here, the maximum value there is 14. So we need to scale for these concentric lines that will allow me to plot a value of 14. So what I'm going to do is use the center as zero, the first of these rings as five, the second as 10, the third as 15. Okay, so we now have our two axes plotted. We've got our compass directions as the radial lines, our number of values as the concentric circles. Okay, for the example I've given you here, you'll see I've identified a number of measurements of, well, it could be lots of different things. It could be um, direction of faults. It could be uh, the alignment of fossils or pebbles in a bed. It could be um, paleocurrent directions. There are lots of different uh, things that we can measure the direction or the orientation of in geology. For this example, you can see between 0 degrees and 29 degrees, we have five measurements. Zero degrees is due north, 29 degrees takes us up to uh, the first of these radial lines here. Okay, On our scale, five is the first of these concentric circles. So what I can now do is shade in the slice of that circle, or the wedge there, okay, going out to five measurements. The next measurement from 30 to 59 degrees is 14. So that represents this particular section of our rose diagram. We've got 5, 10 and 15 values. So we know that ours is 14 so we come in on, from the edge like that to represent our 14. You can, to be more accurate than I'm being, plot it, uh, measure it out on each section and then join them up. And again, we shade in the relevant bit of our graph.
Okay. Our next one, we have eight measurements. So again, we're drawing a line in that, that part of our rose diagram and shading in to represent those values. If you like representing the bar. Final one here, between 120 and 149. Okay, we've got eight values through here as well. Let's just make sure we get those in. Okay. And finally, then we have two values for 120 to 149, which will just take us down to there. Okay. So we now have our rose diagram plotted. You can see from this example that it gives a very clear indication of the direction of whatever it is you're measuring. You almost don't really need uh, the numbers that are marked on there because we can see that predominantly this is to the northeast. It's a very, very clear way of showing directional data. You have an example on your sheet. What I'd like you to do is plot the example on your version of the rose diagram and see if we can interpret um, what that shows. In class then, we'll look at how we can use this to interpret some real geological data. I'll see you then.